What goes on, my fellow knights? And welcome back to Zector's Wacky Sets. And today, we're going to look at everybody's favorite Gen 5 crocodile, Crocodile. So, he has this very, very unique typing of dark ground and some good abilities and some awesome stats. So, let's discuss them, shall we? Dark ground. Pretty good offensive typing, I'd say. Weak to, like, five, six things, but that's, eh, we can deal with that. It's fine. Because we have two immunities, so that's not terrible. And then we have Anger Point, Intimidate, and Moxie. Which is pretty good. Intimidate and Moxie I'll be utilizing quite a bit. Anger Point is really, really situational, and most of the time we probably won't live a crit, so I'm just going to ignore Anger Point for this. So here we have uh, a Crocodile stats. They're actually very good. We can get a physical wall, a special, or a special sweeper, a physical sweeper, and eh, it's got enough special defense to maybe slap an assault vest on there. Who knows? So before we get into my sets, let's take a look at what Schmoogan has created. Uh, Jolly Intimidate Choice Scarf, okay. Stealth Rock Setter, okay. Choice Band, okay. Yep, so let's go to my sets. Now, last time, or in the last uh, Zector's Wacky sets, I think I said I was going to utilize Power Trip. Power Trip is a new move um, added this gen that is like stored power, just a fit as a physical dark type move. So, it's pretty powerful, especially with the right setup. So, here's our little IV, or e IV spread, EV spread. So we have a good amount of speed, a good amount of bulk, and a uh, max attack. Or, uh, is that smart? Let us, let's fix this right now. I'm gonna fix this a little bit. Gonna make it a little better for my purposes. Because I forgot I have bulk up. I don't really need this. So we have bulk up, me first, power trip, and earthquake. Earthquake, powerful stab. Bulk up, we're setting up with bulk up. So we can uh, activate our little power trip function here. We'll gain plus two stats in attack and defense. So each turn we're gaining 40 plus more power on power trip. So if we're already plus two and since power trip already has 20 already, we'll have 60. That's just with one bulk up. And then we have Normalium Z me first. Me first will double your speed. So that's another plus two, plus bulk ups, plus power trip, plus moxie. So this is kind of gonna get, it's gonna get weird. It's gonna get real weird, but we're gonna have a lot of stats. And plus with uh, Normalium Z me first, if you are faster than the other Pokemon and they attack you, you also nuke them <laughs> with the, the corresponding Z move that they're about to hit you with. Like, what type of move it is, that's how it works. Think Z-Metronome, just me first. <laughs> Alright, so let's go to the nice little damage calculator right here. And here's my favorite boy, Garchomp. You know, I, maybe I should EV this thing to outspeed Garchomp instead. I think that's a good idea. So let's lower that a little bit. Let's go. Um... We can lower that a little bit. 32. Okay, I need at least... There, now we outspeed Scarfed Jump. That's all I wanted. Because I hate Scarfed Guard Jump to the core. So let's just fix this real quick. Crocodile. Cricodile, oh my god. Alright, so... Outrage, 60% of our health. Let's start bulking up a little bit. Plus one, plus one. Power Trip is going to start doing a lot of damage. So, this is when me first happens. So, I am curious. Um, I'm going to have to take me first here and turn it into... Let's say he hits us with an Outrage. So, Outrage. Wow. And if it's going to be Z-Move, yeah, we're going to kill a Garchomp with a Devastating Drake. After, uh, well, yeah, after uh, me firsting, which is not a very bad, which is not a very bad, oh my god, English, stop. So, yes, this is, um, wonder, does Power Trip, 
I'm, uh, oh, this is not where I want to be on Cerebi. I want to go there for later. Um, this power trip, uh, power, powered up Z, power up the Z move. I want to know. It does not. Okay, that would be overpowered. But that's okay. So, we're plus, t say we get uh, Z me first off, and then we nuke a guard chomp with Outrage. We are now plus two, and we have plus, uh, plus two because we just got the Moxie boost. So, we're sitting pretty high on a high horse. Even at um, neutral, we're still doing a lot of damage to Garchomp. We have a chance to Oko it, so if you got Stealth Rocks up, eh, Garchomp's done. <laughs> so, we're plus two now. Plus two speed, and then plus one defense. Power Trip is doing a lot of damage. Now we don't need Outrage anymore, and we just go back to me first. So... Yeah, it's not gonna calculate it. All right, so we're we're on our high horse now. So what's uh what's a Pokemon that can come in and deal with a crocodile? Let's see. Let's look at what he's weak to. Um, for simplicity, let's actually just go Scizor. Let us go with Scizor. Uh, what's common on a Scizor these days? Probably Choice Band, I'd imagine. Let's go worst case scenario, why the hell not? So, Bullet Punch. Wow, Choice Banded Bullet Punch is not too much. <laughs> Power Trip automatically kills, then we'll get another Moxie boost, and Earthquake actually almost kills Scizor too. Okay, let's try Mega Scizor. See if Mega Scizor can tank OU Bulky Sword Stance. Let's see how we get there. That's not right. 50. Alright, U-Turn does a quite a bit of damage, Bullet Punch doesn't, Power Trip does over half with plus two in speed, plus one defense, and the Moxie Boost. So, this set is going to be really weird and situational because you're going to have to start stacking up some stats, like, heavily, but eh, it's okay. It's, it's a set I like because I like Power Trip. It's an interesting move that we got. So let's just go to the next set here, and... Here's where Zector's wacky sets start coming in. Well, actually, no, this was pretty wacky, but let's go even wackier. Let's go full physical bulk, bulldoze, knockoff, spite, and sand tomb. So, sand tomb, we're gonna keep them in and do damage over time, if we're lucky to hit it. Spite, we're gonna lower their PP so that they're pretty much useless. And then knockoff to get rid of an item, and bulldoze to lower their speed. Plus intimidate. So, Basically, we're just gonna... The goal is just to stall with this crocodile. Stall out physical Pokemon, really. Oh, wow, why am I out of breath? I don't know. Okay, much better. Nice glass of water. But, let's see. Yep, that's pretty much it with this set. Speed lower, trap, item knockoff, get rid of PP. That's it. It's pretty simple, and I like that one, too. So let's go to the next one, Intimi Intimidate, Life Orb, Pursuit, Crunch, Earthquake, and Smackdown. So, mm, what is my, what's my, um, what's my irrational thinking on this one? Well, Pursuit, you switch in to, um, mm, what's a Pokemon? Let me think, hold on a second. How can I put this? Intimidate will lower our opponent's attack. They don't want to, um, they have a wall they can switch into because now they can't do as much damage as they want to the Crocodile. They have to switch out. So, in response, Pursuit will do, will deal, um, double damage and has a chance to probably Oko them. Just, uh, I don't know, it depends what Pokemon it is. We have Smackdown to... I guess Smackdown is for a predict, predicting a switch, say into, like, Skarmory or something. We're gonna smack Skarmory down because they think we're gonna Earthquake. So, okay, think they have a, well, I'm like doing a lot of hypothetical shit, but think this way. If there is a Pokemon on the field that's weak to Earthquake, they're gonna wanna switch out into a flying type to stop it. But if you uh, predict and hit and their flying Pokemon does come in, and you hit them with a Smackdown. Next turn, you can hit them with an Earthquake, and Earthquake for free. So, or Pursuit, like I said. So, let's take this into the damage calc. 
I do a lot of hypothetical shit, don't I? I wish I could battle more so I can actually back up a lot of this shit. <laughs> somebody find me- somebody help me find a community of battlers that aren't ass. So, let us... Um... So, we're gonna just go off with 80 base power for... Dark, for a pursuit, because we're gonna assume they're going to switch out. So let's go to Skarmory. Skarmory. Eh, let's use scraps, why not? Pursuit, 33%. Smackdown does 14%. Then, how do I calculate Smackdown after Earthquake? Foresight, Leech Seed, Protect. Nope. Um. Gravity? Oh, okay. Well, we'll assume it's gravity, I guess. So what, okay, so that's 83%. If I get rid of flying, okay, it's gonna be the same thing. All right, so let's just put gravity back up. So SmackDown Skarmory, 14, um, and that's a max defense Skarmory too. So SmackDown, uh, around 12%, then Earthquake hits for 69 to 83, which is pretty good. And then you got Life Orb, and if they like, Star Lil get, if they're like afraid, just pursuit or crunch doesn't matter. So it's like a bit, it's like a baity set. It's you're trying to bait them, which is kind of what a crocodile does. Is they like bait. So pursuit, crunch, earthquake, smackdown. So it's not a bad idea. We'll say that much. I was, I'm very happy with a lot of the sets I came up with for um, crocodile. And here's another set. We're gonna utilize spe his special stat, which is terrible. <laughs> and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make it work. So I think it'd be a shame if we didn't give a uh, uh, croc, a uh, croc, croc. Oh my god! If we didn't give Crocodile some sunglasses. So let's give him some choice specs. Why not? Because the reason I thought of this all, the reason I went with this is that he had Earth Power and Sludge Bomb. He doesn't have any Poison Offense, which we could play around with a little bit. So, I need to get my- where'd my phone go? I need my calculator. Here it is. So, no, that's- We're gonna take his special stat, which is 117, and then multiply it by the- Oh shit, I can't type. 117. We're gonna multiply it by the choice specs modifier, which is 1.5, and we're gonna have 175, um, uh, special attack, which is pretty much um, uninvested attack, I think. It's around there. Let's just double check that. Let's set that to a minus. Yeah, it's a little over un or um, un nature attack. You know what I'm talking about. If not, I don't care. So it's this is something that you can catch a lot of people off guard with. People think cro crocodile is just gonna come in. Intimidate or something and do and do physical hits so you switch it up and then you have all these fun moves Incinerate is better than hidden power fire. You could always run HP ice, but I think Incinerate's good because some Pokemon will run berries and Incinerate especially Incinerate will stop all harvest Pokemon, which I don't think Pokemon get I don't think I don't think they get their berries back if it was knocked off or incinerated, but eh it's basically Hidden Power Fire with a little extra effect. Then you got Sludge Bomb, just to get them off guard. Earth Power, hitting a lot of Pokemon that are weak to ground on the special side can be very terrifying at times, and then Dark Pulse as well. So I'm actually curious to see on how much damage we're gonna be able to accomplish with Choice Specs Crocodile. <laughs> oh, this will be fun. Um, hold on, I'm thinking. Crocodile. Oh, can't remember half the shit anymore. Okay, custom set. Oh my. Earth power on Skarmory kills it. Okay, that's fun to know. And gravity. But we're not going to be in gravity, probably. Unless you're on a gravity team. But incinerate, jeez, that does a lot of damage to uh, Skarmory, which is kind of cool. Okay, so... Um, what's, uh, uh, Giggle, well, let's just use Gigalith first. Um, I want, I want a physical Gigalith set. Okay, there. So, Gigalith comes into wall you, turns out you're a special attacker, do 75% damage to this thing. Which is good. Okay, so, Tapu Lele. 
Let's go to Tapu Lele next. Because mm. that could be a thing that happens. Who knows? So, 50. Moonblast will kill us. And Tapu Lele outspeeds us. Okay, not good example. Um, what's a slower fairy type? Um, give me a nice fairy type. Uh, no, you wouldn't switch a Flargus in. I need a physical fairy type. Or no, a physically bulky fairy type that isn't Mega Mawile. I don't think there are any of those. Is there a physical fairy type? Or, oh my god. Is there a physically bulky fairy type is what I meant to say. Alright, let's use Slowbro. Let's just use Slowbro. Because that would be a, um, a good switch in to... Um, it'd be a good switch in to a crocodile because you'd expect a physical hit and now I'm using special attacks Well, actually no, how much would crunch do? Crunch would probably do a decent amount to a slow bro mm, Not as much as dark pulse would and plus okay, let's get enough. Let's get another better example. Give me something that I can use Tyranitar Um Drapidon, something that you'd see co more commonly. Uh, oh, you know what? A, bit, a bulky. I don't think Diancy's a good example either, but are you special defensive? I didn't know they ran them specially defensive. Yeah, I can't find any good examples because, God, I can't. There's so many Pokemon and so many stats I don't know. Oh, eh, no, he trains. Another dumb idea. Huh. Well, we'll be honest, I do not know. Yeah. Okay, um, how much does Sludge Bomb do to Amanda Buzz? Uh, custom set. Yeah, Sludge Bomb does 28%, but I, let's just keep going. Basically, it's gonna catch a lot of people off guard and not a lot of people will start thinking, which is kind of cool. Actually, you know what? I probably could have, you know, shit, I could have put Bulu, let's put Bulu in there real quick. I'm like, Tapu Bulu would be a great switch in onto this thing. And then you figure out you got Sludge Bomb and Sludge Bomb Oko's Tapu Bulu and we outspeed it unless, oh wow, that's max speed Tapu Bulu. Yeah, we're gonna outspeed it for days. So yeah, Sludge Bomb kills Tapu Bulu. They're thinking, oh, Earthquake's gonna come and I'm gonna set up the grassy terrain to render Earthquake useless. Nope, we're special. Sludge Bomb, Oko, the Tapu Bulu. So, I actually wanna use a special cro crocodile now. I need to make a wacky set team soon. I need more wacky sets. <laughs> All right, so let's go into uh, another setup Pokemon. Home Claws, Iron Tail, Crunch, and Earthquake. Iron Tail has 100 base power and one Hone Claws will bring the accuracy up to 99% by doing uh, fun little calculations. If I go back to Cerebi stats. All right, so here we have uh, how stats are modified with um, plusing and minusing. So plus one, 1.33 times 75 will bring us up to 99% um, or so. So we're gonna be hitting almost every Iron Tail. <laughs> Which is good, and then you got a 30% chance to lower their defense, and it's a 100 power steel move with plus one attack. And then you got Crunch, Earthquake, and Life Orb, plus Moxie, plus Moxie, so it just set up into insane amounts of damage, honestly. We're gonna go max attack and max um, speed here, and everything's gonna be all nice and happy like. I, I like, I make so many sets, and I'm like, how can I use these on more teams? Like, <laughs> Well, not how I can use them, like, how can I put them all on teams? Uh, I'd very much like to do so, maybe one day. So, Iron Tail and a Tapu Bulu, we're gonna be plus one, because we're not gonna risk... We're not gonna risk uh, missing an Iron Tail, probably. So, Iron Tail will kill a Tapu Bulu. We'll outspeed Bulu as well. Oh, man, why, can't, why am I such out of breath? Hopefully it has nothing to do with my new medication. But, um... What's something else that's weak to... Steel... 
Rock types. What's a good rock type this gen? Um, you know, since Avalog just has insane amounts of, like, defense, let's see how much that'll do to him. Eh, wow. It does half to a... Oh, it's not even max <laughs> physical bulk. Okay. Um, well, I went out of the place I need to be now. All right. Ah, uh, something that would be common. What's well, something a lot more common these days? Um, um, Audino. Let's use Mega Audino. Um, Audino. Um, Renell. Yeah, we'll use Renell's set. Wow. It actually tanks an Iron Tail? With plus one attack. No shit. Huh. That kind of surprises me, honestly. But I guess that's okay. Dazzling Gleam will hit us hard back, but we'll outspeed it, so... Eh. More situations. I like this set as well. It's gonna be hard to pick my favorite one out of these, because these are all pretty good Crocodile sets. And then lastly, we just have something real basic. End off with something basic, and we have... Uh, what's it called? Assault Vest Crocodile. Why is... Go to 252. Sometimes Showdown likes to glitch out for some reason. So, a max attack, max uh, special defense with careful nature. We're going to have 134 special defense. If I take my nice calculator here... And we do the Assault Vest Multiplier, 1.5. We have 201 special defense, so we're going to take some good special hits, hopefully. And then Crunch, Earthquake, Rock Slide, Brick Break. That's all we really need. Okay. <sighs> I am exhausted. Alright, so... Yeah, look how much Dazzling Gleam does now. It does, it did, it's doing half of what it used to with the other Crocodile set, so that's already an improvement. Can we live a Moonblast from a Tapu Lele? A Choice Specs Tapu Lele, how about that? Oh, we have a chance, but it's a sh slim shot in hell. But I'm going, I'd imagine that most Leles would want to be scarfed instead, but eh, you never know. Hmm. I'll do one more example, and then we'll end off the video. So, we have a name... Yeah, I slurred my words there. I need a special attacker. How about... I need a... Special... Attack stat. Top 100. That'll do. Give me something reasonable. Um... Let's go Mega Sceptile. Let's see if we let's see if he can tank anything from a Mega Sceptile custom set. Oh, he can. He can live. He can just barely li li bleh, barely live a Leaf Storm. Okay, I can speak. Crunch does half, so that's eh, not a good. That's not a favorable matchup. I will admit. So, what else can we accomplish? Hmm. Porygon Z. OU Ghost Z conversion. Why are your people? Why are they going ghost? That's something I don't know. All right, so let's say it already Z conversion ghost, and then we'll give everything plus one. It'll be very very hard to kill. Well, Crunch does. Well, well you know what? Crunch will do it because if it's a ghost type, we're just gonna get super effective damage on it. Shadow Ball doesn't hit us very hard. Discharge can't hit us, Recover can't hit us, and then I don't know what the no-move area thing is. So, yeah, I don't think anything about that. But I think that's going to do it for Crocodile here, so which one is my favorite? Oh, God. This one's okay. This I'll put these two probably more at the bottom, maybe with this one. I like the idea of Choice Specs Crocodile a lot, and then I really like uh, Power Trick Crocodile, so I think those two are going to end up being my favorites here. 
But let me know which one your favorite is, and if you'll if you actually use the sets, because that'd be cool. I would love to. Um, I'd love it for you guys to send me um, videos that you use the wacky sets in. I think that'd be kind of awesome. So that's it for Crocodile. Oh man, I don't know why I'm such out of breath. I haven't done anything. I hope it's not my medication, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, so. I am out of uh, Pokemon on my list. So, if I somehow missed your comment, which I don't really think is likely, but if I somehow did, put put another Pokemon or the same Pokemon in the descri in the description. Comment what Pokemon you want me to do next. Oh my god, I can use words. So, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, I'll be looking in the comment section, uh, join my Discord, ask for battles, stuff like that, and all the things fancy YouTubers say, like, like, comment, subscribe, and share, and bye!